and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some precognition demir. That's right, we're building a deck around a precognition field here on this Thursday <laughs> throwback. Oh man, throwback Thursday stream. There we go. We'll see if we can get it out there. So yeah, throwback Thursdays here until rotation, which we have found out today is is going to be September 26th on uh, Magic Arena. Uh, until then, we are playing some rares and mythics that are. Well, we are building decks around rares and mythics that are rotating out, like Precognition Field here, that didn't really get to see very much standard play. We want to play them before. Uh, they leave the format, um, you know, give them a little bit of time to shine here. So we got Precognition Field here. We've, we're playing some other sweet ones. We have uh, Fraying Omnipotence is the deck we just played. If you're watching this later, make sure you check that one out. And then we're going to do, gonna be playing uh, a Vance's Blasting Cannons deck up next. But first, let's talk about this card. So three and a blue enchantment. You can look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery card. And you can also pay three to exile the top card of your library. So this is really similar uh, to, um, oh gosh, uh, the card in mono red that I just blanked on. But yeah, like you know, it's a four man enchantment. We're looking at the the top card of our library, uh, experimental frenzy. There you go. Thank you, experimental frenzy. So everybody knows experimental frenzy, right? Like you play against that card all the time. There's a couple of things about precognition field that are that are better and worse than frenzy. Uh, first, you can while you can cast the, the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery, you, um, you know you can't just cast anything. It has to be an instant or sorcery. You can still cast the cards in your hand though, so you can still play like draw card effects. Where like if you draw if you draw cards with experimental frenzy, you can't play the cards in your hand, so that the, those two don't really work well together. But you can still play the cards in your hand, so you still get to play card draw. But uh, again, you can only cast instants and sorcerers. You don't get to play a land. That's like the big thing with uh, that Frenzy lets you do, that Precognition Field or like Mystic Forge for like the colorless cards. Uh, you you don't get to play lands with these two, and that's a really really big deal uh, that the Frenzy lets you do. Um, so like we're still gonna want to hit our land drops because you know we need to. So we need to play like a, a good amount of card draw or so, or, or still just want to focus on trying to hit land drops even with field and play, because we're going to need the mana to cast our cards. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that I that I was really debating about going um, with this kind of, with making a precognition field deck. I mean, we could have played, honestly, like between basically every color but green, pairing it with blue, uh, there's some good things with it. You know, like white gives you like revitalize and then like good sweepers. If you want to go into like Esper, you know, you have like Kaya's Wrath. You know, regular white, you just have Cleansing Nova, but blue white, you also have Time uh, time Wipe. Um, blue red uh, gives you, like, you know, there's a lot of Spell Matters cards in blue red, and, like, it gives you, like, a win con that's actually spells. Like, you can play, like, Expansion Explosion and Fight with Fire and stuff like that for your actual win con. So you can just really go instant and sorcery he heavy there. Um, and then going, like, Jeskai, you get, like, Deafening Clarion. Yeah, so there, there's like a lot of different ways to go. I decided to go with Demir for a couple of reasons. One, the, the black removal, as far as instance and sorcery goes, like the black removal is just the best. With, uh, you know, we don't have like the best sweeper because we only got Ritual of Soot, but still, Vrasa's Contempt and Legion's End are both awesome cards. Also, black gives you Thought Erasure, which I wanted to do. And yeah, I could have gone Esper and gone, like I said, like Kaya's Wrath and stuff, but there's already just a lot of Esper control. So I'm going to just stick with blue-black, because that also just gives us Field of Ruin by sticking with two colors. With all of these Field of the Dead decks everywhere, I wanted to play four Field of Ruin. Um, and Field of Ruin is also a pretty good card with Precognition Field also, of like of shuffling your library and, and changing the top card of your library also. So that's that's what we're doing here. Um, yeah, per, pretty much off counter spells because of Baby Teferi. Yep. Um, I am going with a clear the mind also because I'm not playing very many win conditions, just a Kefnet, a couple of Ugins, and a couple of mass manipulations. So we this could be the kind of thing like where we just try to use these good black removal spells and take out everything our opponent has and keep on doing it over and over. Uh, so yeah, we got to clear the mind in here. Um, I guess we can only clear the mind only works once because once it's once you 
once it goes to the graveyard, then you don't get to cast it anymore. But uh, anyway, and then we just got a whole lot more removal. Like I'm, I'm trying to go anti aggro with the deck, especially you know as you can tell here, uh, got a lot of removal spells in our sideboard, and then I have just enough other spells in here that we have like just enough with like two to rest playing the unmoored egos the noxious grasps and like the mass manipulation that we have just enough if we play against like an an esper deck with that has no creatures an esper control with no creatures that we can take out all of our uh, creature removal and have enough cards in the sideboard so this is going to be a uh, definitely a slow deck but let's see if we can uh, uh, use the power of precognition field help pick up some wins all right let's play a league and let's see how we do that is true if we had kefnet in play and then reveal clear the mind we would be able to cast it and not lose the card and then be able to cast it later that that could happen what's up Zerf? got here for throwback thursday All right, let's see how we do. The longer the games, games go, probably the better for us. We're not winning very quickly. Don't really want to go to five cards. <laughs> Going to five cards is kind of rough. This hand is really bad, though. My opponent has the anti field of ruin mana base over there. Speaking of my mana base, I have it split down the middle. Um, we have 15 blue, 15 black. As far as sources go, and then the and then the uh, field of ruins to help stuff out. Ooh. They have a whole lot more cards than I do. Can Thought Erasure and Ugin beat six cards? Unlikely. All right, can Ugin beat six cards by itself? <laughs> I don't like my opponent not playing any dual lands. I came into being long before All right, so of course Ugin will be at least will at least be a three for one. It'll you have or really like a, a two for zero, I guess, because it'll it will replace itself and take out strike and shock. I guess it replaced itself and took out Strike Shock Shock. Oh my gosh. We have six of each basic. And so I have six swamps in the deck. We've just drawn five swamps. Uh. Yay.
Now all we need to do is draw a blue source, and then we can steal both Enigma Drakes. Or have our opponent draw a dual land. Yep, it's a dual land. Kill it. Kill it. Oh yeah, I did I did surveil over an island earlier. Ugh. They will not let me get both Enigma Drakes. Looks like. Where's our precognition field? I should definitely do that before they attack. Going into combat, because now Charter Course is just a draw two. So if they have a Charter Course, I'll feel bad. Alright, how big... If I stole Drake, how big would it be? One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, it'd be a five, four still. It's not bad. Oh yeah, it would be a 6-4, that's true, because I would cast the manipulation. Keep an open mind. All right, Narset traded Overwhelming. for Strike and Drake. And put two lands plus a Legion's End down to the bottom. Three cards I don't want, so good draw there, Narset. Man, this precognition field is going to be great. All right, we are basically out of basics. We have one island, one swamp left. Precognition field. Ooh, you're not a precognition field, but you're worth it. As as Kanta and I, I did think about how Ascanta and Clear the Mind aren't great together immediately. You know, like until you flip Ascanta, you know, like but beforehand shuffling your graveyard. But that's okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Precognition field. Let's go. Darn. Well, I mean, it's free contempt. My opponent doesn't have anything, though. Is it just a bunch of burn spells they're going to send at me? All right. Dazzling lights, beacon bolt, and shock. Let's take the shock. Exile that. We don't have very many win cons as we've talked about. 
exile that. All right. <laughs> our deck, our deck's gonna take a while to win. <laughs> Kefnet! That's a win con. My prowess is on. I have just the trick for this. Ugin. That's a win con. All right, now we're going. Rude. Guess we'll just have to get back the Kefnet. Mega rude. I won't forget it. Hey, Chuck. Thanks for that resub there. I appreciate that. Our second sub of the day. I guess I guess we're just going to put our other manipulation down here. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Ooh. Okay, we could cry the Carnarium away our token to put that card in our hand if we want. <laughs> yeah, this this may be a long league. If, if we're winning, this is going to be a long league. Good form. Dazzled by that play there. Ooh, kept both cards on top with that scry. What do I have? I have 20 cards in my deck? Alright, that's not very many. Dovin's Acuity. Yeah, that could have been a way to go. If we go, go blue-white, could go Dovin's Acuity. I didn't think of that. With the Precognition Field. Ethan itself. Well, our graveyard has like as many cards as our library. Probably shuffle those back. Well, that's a pretty good call. Yeah, I should have done that. Far child, you're right. I know eighty-eight. I should just not cast. Pick one. Clear the mine, save it to reveal off a of Kefnet next turn. Alright, the Terrymander. Get that 5-5. Five, five. I want that 5-5. Five, five. Give me that. Um Let's 
Like, we don't really have anything to do here, but like, honestly, maybe I should just be casting the opt just so we can use precognition field, since that's what our deck's built around. It's just so we can use our card. But the game's over. <laughs> this looks like a weird time twister vintage deck with way underpowered cards. Basically, that's what we have here. We have a like a, a standard cube draft time twister deck. Um so they're playing Drakes. Enter the God Eternals is pretty good against Drakes. Four damage is a convenient number of damages. Don't need Cry the Carnarium. But we won't cast down. I want the Duresses, and I guess I want another Manipulation. Didn't seem like we need Elder Spell. Legion's End is basically just for Terramander. Not great. Ritual of Set can kill Terramander and Enigma Drake. I should probably keep Legion's End, though. They could have War Boss. War Boss would make my life a little harder. I'm just going to play one of those. Ooh, Mobilized Districts is a win con. There we go. I was wondering what I was going to like make as my win con. That kind of took me a little while like with the blue-black. You know, I just kind of settled on this. Yeah, could have had Mobilized Districts and then just a couple more clear the mines. That could have been nice. Get a land. Opponent's like, do I want to negate that? All right, so I think I just let Thought Erasure get negated because then I can go Duress as Kanta next turn. No negate. Ah, they have Disdainful Stroke. Flood of Tears. Flood of Tears could be annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I would I would assume you'd have more in the sideboard besides just mobilized district. Also. But yeah, that does make you vulnerable to unmoored ego. But don't really expect to see those game one. Ritual of Soot. That works. Hmm. 
think I just want to draw Narset. Maybe not. Yeah, the ritual of soot made my life a lot easier. Yeah, the only, yeah, I could do the stop on draw step so that you know, if like we reveal an instant, could cast it there like after the Ascanta triggered. It's not very necessary anymore. But yeah, could have could have done that. There's basically only one card to do with that though would be like opt. But like basically that card right there opt. and future are bound home your prowess all right we're, we're just digging don't mind us over here just digging looking for cards that win the game our deck does a pretty good job of digging so far And we're basically like digging for clear the mine to keep digging. I shall miss your company. Put thoughtfulness before action. Another disdainful stroke. All right, we'll take Narset. My poor opponent just has nothing to do over there. Hmm. 14 cards, shuffle back. I'm gonna shuffle that clear of the mind away. We'll, we'll get that later. I'll just activate us, Kanto. Hey, Cosmo. Talk about a slow burn with this deck here. Kefnet. Yay, Kefnet not countered. I guess I should play Nars at first. There are so many meditate and prepare. They kinda have nothing for me to steal right now.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> we drew a thousand cards in no win condition. This, that is a control deck. That is pretty true. That is pretty accurate of what's going on here so far. Uh, yeah. Keep an open mind. We'll get that clear of the mind later. <laughs> Do you think we have enough removal? <laughs> Do we have enough seven. removal? Yeah, you, you should craft this deck. Yeah, if you want to quickly climb up the ladder, this is a good one. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a good quick good quick jog up the ladder. So they they kept that card on top. Unacceptable. We're not keeping cards on top around here. If you wish to surrender now, I understand. You have 20 minutes a day you can play? Perfect. I have just the trick for this. Perfect amount of time. You'll get like three or four matches in a day easy. Yeah, Mono Red Cannons is going to be a Van Vance's Blasting Cannons deck. See, look at us attacking for eight. When you understand your reality, you understand. Oh, my poor opponent, they really wanted to play that River's Rebuke, I bet. Fabric of the multiverse. Ah, oh, poor opponent, they just wanted to play that River's Rebuke. Okay, one no. See, easy, easy, quick win there. Good old control action. Yeah, surprised this card wasn't called Frenzy. Precognition Frenzy, because it just goes so fast. All right, we have the the real game of can we survive and you know keep our opponent from playing a whole bunch of stuff to start with. I don't really like the whole mono green bit because that probably means they have a bunch of Vela Summers. I'm not sure how much I like these would like these Vela Summers. After sideboarding, I don't, really, I don't really want to take either card. Ooh. That's a cool art right there. Rune for the mono green. That's okay. 
That's okay. Alright, we're not getting trolled anymore. Bark hides out of here. Probably isn't a great field of ruin matchup. We will not fail. Um I kinda need another blue source. I guess I have contempt. All these swamps and field of ruins are hurting my mass manipulation deck. Or we can't play lands with precognition field. Fight on without me. So that's why I just played the land first, because then, I, I mean, we don't really have double blue or double black stuff, but we still just had both colors covered. So I could steal I could steal the 3-3 three, three, or just contempt it. I could just go contempt cry. I think I'm just gonna go contempt cry. See what they're holding on to. Steel Leaf Champion. All right, setting an upkeep stop here so we could upkeep exile the top card of our library. Oh, dang. That land was actually a pretty clutch draw for them. Speaking of clutch, no. Thoughtfulness before action. All right, we're kind of doing it. Knowing the top card of your library is just pretty powerful. What's up, Kefnet? Scry bottom. Ooh, again. 
Meditate and prepare. Um, I kind of want to cast the Clear of the Mind. Because, yeah, that's that's a lot of, like, good cards to shuffle back. Uh, nah, we, we're fine. We good, we good. We got Ugin. We good. Yes, yeah, so this is our, our enchantment is precognition field, so we can cast instants and sorceries off the top of our library. We can also pay three mana just to exile the top card of our library. What? Uh oh. Vine mare. Uh oh. Hexproof. So one, two. So one mana short of casting Thought Erasure and having Ugin and playing Ugin. Definitely want to play Ugin. Alright, this this Vine Mare may kill us. Okay. Vine Mare won't kill us. Yeah, the the thing is if they had if they had like something to like you know like some like enchantment that like made it a lot bigger and gave it trample or something. They had to be able to give it trample. But if they could, then it could kill us. Alright, a couple grasps. An extra ritual of soot. E G E or E T G E. Good against Steel Leaf Champion. Get this cast down in here. I know Elder Spell kills Nissa, but I don't know if we really need that with having the Noxious Grasp and Contempts and Mass Manipulations. I think we have enough stuff for Nissa. Yeah. Vine Mare is hexproof, so I can't kill Vine Mare. Everything looks pretty good here. How am I supposed to cut four cards? I guess Cry of the Carnarium. Yeah, I guess Cry of the Carnarium can go. And a Narset. And a field. Okay. Yeah, the whole place at a, a Vale of Summer. I'm glad we got game one. Winning, winning two games against Vale of Summer was going to be really tough. No, you never want Unmored Ego against an aggro deck. Never play Unmored Ego against an aggro deck. You don't have the time to take a turn off for a card that's just card disadvantage. Take another draw step before I cast this opt. Get a little bit more information. Did not really play around Nyssa by doing that.
Hmm. I'd like to find a ritual of set. Correct, yes, you could use, yes, Legion's End can be used against base, against Forest, and yeah, we would have been able to exile multiple Forests with a Legion's End. Yeah, so just playing the Legion's End like I did just really backfired completely. Should have just cast down a mana creature. Does make me want to play an extra Legion's End. Maybe, though. And to the God Eternals, unfortunately, makes a black zombie creature that doesn't block Vine Mare either. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, tur turn three Nissa. Tough to beat. I need to, to protect against that, I suppose. But yeah, I don't have don't have much Ravine Mare. I think our opponent's playing four Vine Mares. We just gotta hope that it's like game one where they don't find Vine Mare for a very long time. Uh, what's this triple swamp? I mean, if we draw. A blue source, this is okay, but what I was saying, we have 15 of each because the four Field of Ruins, like without Field of Ruin. Yeah, I only have, so I have 15 blue sources, so drawing a 1 out of 15 or we lose, it's not a great chance, so looks like we're going to 5. I, mean, I would take that over a five card hand, the our first hand. Yeah, if if I knew Mulligan here or you're going down to five or like Keep this hand, or you go to five. I would keep the hand. But keep this hand, or go to six. I went to six. Didn't work out, though. All right, so very good chance they have Veil of Summer, and they're kind of playing it a little slow. Mind and body should Unfortunately, Narset doesn't help us hit land drops. Which is what we need right now. We need to like just draw land for a little while. Um, Precognition field can cast spells and everything. <laughs> thanks, yeah. Thanks for the gonna get a tarot deck, so can read that and then I'll know before Mulligan if we're going to five or going to six. Yeah, so it certainly feels like they're protecting with Veil of Summer. Ugh, no land. I have just the trick for this. Where my land at? I mean, these are like good cards that we're putting to the bottom, but we gotta have land. Hmm. 
So making them use the Veil of Summer on their turn, they don't get to draw a card because of Narset. Okay, so they're just going to let it go because they would rather protect with thought, from Thought Erasure. Alright, not bad. No, that is bad. Don't want them to draw lands. Helps turn on their hand. Ugh. Gosh, Vine Mirror is just like the the perfect card against me. Veil of Summer and Vine Mare. These cards are just so broken against my deck. I don't have a sweeper for Vine Mare. I have nothing that kills Vine Mare. The only thing I can do is just steal a creature that can block it. That's the only thing I can do. If that was a blue source, I would keep it, but not, not keeping a black source. So there's Kefnet. More Veil of Summer. And removal for Kefnet. I guess they need a lot more mana for removal for Kefnet, though. Played Steel Leaf Champion, I was dead. Glad they didn't. Just draw this. Need ritual of set. 
Okay. Contempt's not bad. That's not bad. This is bad sons. Like. Um, yeah, there you go. Thanks. Thanks, JD. Cardiac Arrest is the name of the song. Good job, Precognition Field. Precognition Field. Well, so, like, they had to do the five, though, to be able to fight and kill Kefnets. Like, that's what they were going for. But now I can steal a couple of things. Yeah, I can steal two things. So I can steal the, the troll and an elf. Trolls only hexproof if you have you have to use one mana to remove the counter to give it hexproof. And they did not have the mana to do that. Oh, I'll keep stop. Okay. I think we exile this. Try to set up Kefnet. Okay. Um Yeah, I mean I guess so. I guess I should probably cast this Ritual of Soot, huh? No, I should I should wait a turn. All right, I should have I should have cast Thought Erasure. I mean, I mean, I still can. But then they just get a cycle. Veil of Summer. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, I'm hoping they just draw some small creatures here for these two turns. And like this, this Ritual of Soot. Um... Like, revealing ritual Because I want to reveal Ritual Set to Kefnet and then be able to keep it in hand. Okay. So that's good for me. Well, good-ish. I mean, I still got to deal with Anissa. Behold, nature's true power. Yeah, I lost the Thought Razor there. Um, which, you know, if I would have just revealed it in Cassa, I would have been able to keep it. So yes, I did lose the Thought Erasure with, with my wavering decision there. And yeah, I didn't I forgot about the Land War Elf mana, so I forgot that I, was, I would still be able to cast the Ritual of Soot anyway with the, the Land War Elf mana. I, I missed the Land War Elf mana there. Alright, so that is not what I wanted my opponent to do. Let's go to blockers. Need to kill this thing. Need to block and block and take five, go to four. I would have chump blocked the Steel Leaf Champion if I could, but I can't chump block Steel Leaf Champion with the one one.
find something for this Nissa. Because I can't attack it because we're just taking some damage. I mean, I got I could attack it, then go to one, and then attack it again, and then ritual of soot. Was an option. This is awful. What am I supposed to do with this? If I don't put it back in my library, we're in a lot of trouble. But it doesn't help me beat Nissa. So I think I just have to decline. So I only have two Ugins now to try to win this game. And that Nissa. The land shall conquer you. This Nissa was really rough. I have to find Noxious Grasp. It's my only out. Noxious Grasp. Alright, well I guess that's an out for a turn. That was the other card that was an out for a turn. So I think I just upkeep this opt. It doesn't count as our draw step. This gets me four looks to Contempt. Every day. Or Noxious Grasp. No one is more than you. Your Just couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. Ugh. Ugin. We were one card short. Ugin would have done it, but obviously we don't have the mana anyway. I need that Contempt. Darn. We had seen one grasp and two contempts, so we're, we had three outs that we were digging all those cards for. Yeah, I mean, we could just ditch the, the Ugin, find Noxious Grasp here. No. Guess that's our chance to find one more card. Darn. One and one. Ugh, so close. That that Nissa draw, man. Ugh. Yeah, those, those are good games. Those are good games. We almost stabilized. You know, getting rid of Vine Mare and everything, the double Veil of Summer. Almost got through it, but Nissa. Still really hard to deal with. GG's. Yeah, that was, a, that was a really good game, though. Good at match. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. We were on the five-card hand there, too. We fought fought back with our five card hand. 
Speaking of mulliganing, my opponent mulliganed a lot. A lot of mulligans. Tammy has a heck of a card. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. Seek and find. <laughs> Cost it cost me six mana for to mass manipulate the elf. So we're not quite there yet. Here. We are going to contempt that thing. Alright, well, we both have four mana. I have th three cards I can't cast. That's a heck of a card. Alright, so getting another blue source for mass manipulation, and I think I just throw Narset out here to take a hit. And basically I, I lose out on one minus by throwing it out there. Yeah, our opponent mulligan to three. This is their draw. Crazy good. Crazy good mulligan to three. I agree. Um, I guess I'd rather play Ascanta here. Better chance of hitting the 6th land with Ascanta than with Precognition Field. Which I guess we need to be a blue land specifically for manipulation. Hmm. That'll work too, though. We can flip Ascanta for the blue land to steal Cavalier and keep keep Contempt for later. Could just Contempt and, you know, keep Mass Manipulation for later, though, as well. Um, I think I want to steal it. We have another Manipulation. Pretty crazy good game for our opponent on three cards. I think this is quasi dupla reef. What our opponent's playing here. I don't know if I really need to show them precognition field. I don't really want to, I don't think. Let's just get a land drop. So 
so another manipulation, grasps, extra elder spell. You gotta kill Tamio and Nissa, both. Ritual of Soot, yes please. Um, cast down just kills like all their creatures also. Gonna be another. I could have Ego for Nexus. I think if I just get rid of the creatures and stuff, though, I don't have to be too worried about Nexus. Another Veil of Summer matchup. Because Narset's really good against Krasis. Maybe with having this extra manipulation, we don't need to clear the mind. I can give her to Cry. Hmm. Kind of want all of these spells. Maybe I'll trim some Thought Erasure. The game, you know, game goes super long. Thought Rager is not usually a good draw. Weird little hand here. They're down to five. Quickly. Four. We have thirty-three percent more cards than the first game. Yes, you can play mass manipulation for zero. There's just not a reason to do that, but that is a thing you can do. It is quasi dupla reef. Basically using the the contempt for mana sake. Don't know what they're scared of for the land war off not attacking. Oh, is I gonna draw precog precognition field? Could go this could go really wrong if they have Vela Summer. Okay, good, no Vela Summer.
All right, four turn clock. We got four removal spells. They draw four cards. They all die. Perfect number of removal spells. To clock, like removal spell to clock ratio is perfect. Like, Nissa would be the thing that could have messed up our removal spell to clock ratio. Uh, well, not really with Ritual Set. And obviously not with drawing the Legion's End. Blue Kitties. Petting the cat. Blue Kitty. <laughs> I hate blue, but this island is so beautiful that I've started to play blue. Yeah, both these are, are very good islands. Yeah, roping is a thing sometimes. I mean, our opponent can certainly be mad at their deck. The mulligan to three, then mulligan to four in these two games. I'm sure they're frustrated about that. They could have lost connection. Could have happened. That's true. That could have happened. Attack. Yeah, they could have just lost connection there. Recklessness and fear are the seeds of disaster. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. What if they have mass manipulation back? Okay, they do not. Victorious 2 and 1. With our very fast control deck. See, look at that. We had 6 mana, 5 power. With the mass manipulation. It's a fast clock. GG's. Yeah, let's go ahead and give this one a try. Ooh, yeah, I gotta update that score. Good call. 2 1. Hallowed Fountain. Hey, Roach. How's life treating you? We are always... Yeah, for the 12 hour, we're just going to hit our... We're, we're most likely doing it um, Saturday. We are two sub goals away. Yeah, we're we're two sub goals away. I don't think I I didn't update that yesterday. 
The 17 out of 20 should say 18. Now it says 18. So if we hit the sub goal today, hit the sub goal tomorrow, we're doing it Saturday and That's a really good card. That Cry of the Canarium card, it's going places. Oh, nice, making an EDH deck. I like it. Hmm. So, not sure if we're going to use the field or not, but, you know, it'll just be there as an option. If we want to use it. <clears throat> of course, the problem is they're going to be activating Shalai. Um, if I play Narset... There's not really... I don't think I really have a two-mana removal spell for Shalai main deck. <clears throat> that can be useful... later. There are so many meditating. Prepare. So I think I'm going to just... I guess I have Ugin kill Shalai. I don't want to manipulate Shalai. Yeah, so I can either steal it next turn or just have Ugin kill it. It's just going to be like what, like a four or five flyer? So it's not even going to be very special. Well, that's rude. Keep an open mind. So it'll just be a three, four flyer. All right, definitely going to use Ugin to kill it. Do not want to steal a creature and then they just bounce their creature with Teferi. Or destroy. This isn't a fight you can win. That's not something I want to be doing. This might be a bad idea. Well, I want to draw that Kefnet, so I don't really want to do anything. We have a negate. I guess Kefnet's not any good against a fairy anyway. Yeah, just like a, I like Arena, Roach and over no, Magic I am Online. Not making this up as I go. Ugh, I must stay focused. I'm really excited about Historic. You know, having another format besides Standard. 
another good format to be building around and brewing and everything on arena I have just the trick for this Reset this top of card of the library. Don't really need that island there. Kevnet's just getting bounced by Teferi. But at least it's not Precognition Field getting bounced, I guess. Yeah, that's exciting that they're going to just print cards simply for Historic. That is pretty exciting, also. Man, they do not have good stuff to steal. We'll get there to Fairy though. Like that's it's a big card against Kefnet. And of course we have a backup manipulation. Well, I guess I do need to watch my life total. I guess I am at seven. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> I would have liked if we played another turn or two so I could use the two Field of Ruins and seeing what their basic land situation looked like. I was, I was about to use the two Field of Ruins there. I guess I could have just done that first before playing the Kefnet. So definitely Noxious Grasp. Again, Elder Spell. So they had like main deck negate, main deck mass manipulation. Should be a Nissa Crisis deck. They drew so many mana creatures there. That game, come to think of it. Because we cried cry the Carnarium to waste some other ones earlier also. Yeah, the the whole two wild cards for one card in historic, that's that's really rough. I don't really know why that is. I think I know y'all have been discussing that during the stream. But that's pretty rough. Hmm. Yeah, if you want old cards, get them now, because starting in November, the old cards cost will cost two wild cards. Cut something. The, the deck was lagging. Uh, I just I hit, clicked two cards. The deck was lagging too much. I didn't, so I didn't, I didn't sideboard. <clears throat> I quickly clicked the cards, but it's all good. Let's 
That's a mana creature that doesn't matter if it dies. Hey, Dessel. This precognition field card has been really good for us throughout this whole league, though. Just like, you know, knowing the top card of our library and, you know, sometimes casting stuff, sometimes not, but just manipulating our library and everything. It's been very good. Alright, so we'd really want to see a dual land on our side. Okay, good. We do have to fight through a negate, which is kind of rough. But it's easier than fighting through a Teferi that bounces the Krasis to draw him like extra cards and everything. And then Krasis is bigger. Like wind and wave. So if if I minus Narset right away, then they attack Narset for three, and then they could play like a Krasis if they drew a Krasis, or you know play like whatever card that draws a card. I mean, I guess with Nissa, because of Nissa, that was kind of risky. But I was gonna wait a turn and see what I drew, and then minus. All right, that turn worked out just fine for us. Do not like that because if they find Nissa, I'm going to want Ritual of Set for Nissa lands. Even though we don't kill the Grazer. So just killing the Grazer just doesn't matter, obviously. Freeled Mystic. We need to draw lands. I don't really want to play something and then they just frill Mystic and then start attacking for three. So just holding up instant speed contempts. We need to draw our lands though so we can double spell. There we go, that's good. I'd rather Narsec get countered than Field or Kefnet. We're also two lands away now from being able to just play Narset and then and then Fielder Kefnet. My prowess is unmatched by my hmm. fears, with thoughtfulness before action. We already have like good cards in hand. I, I just want the, the cheap card to help with double spelling. So yeah, they're going to manipulate that. No, maybe not. 
Yeah, we're playing Precognition Field. It's your favorite card? Yeah. Okay. Here is pretty big. It's a good card against me. You know, just gonna eat up two contempts here. Meditate and prepare. Hoping they draw a brick here. I was not prepared for this. Looking good for us. Yeah, I don't even know if it's worth it to cast the Legions in there. I know Grazer can block Kefnet, or Land Werewolf doesn't, but Kefnet also just doesn't. Or sorry, Grazer just also just doesn't matter. Yeah, like you can, yeah, you can like exile the top card of your library to help set up Kefnet and everything. All right, we three and one. Our quick league is going. Our league's going real quickly. This has been a yeah, it's been a good league, good deck. I have been just really pleasantly surprised with pre precognition field. I guess it's still kind of difficult to say, but I've been uh, um, been very very happy with the card so far. Knowing the top card of your library when you have effects like Field of Ruin and everything, like you have ways to manipulate your library, knowing that top card is really valuable. Looks like they're reading Field. So we know we need to go find another field. We also need lands, though, too. Prison Reef out of here. Hmm. 
The moon looks intriguing tonight. With to the library. With four cards over here. Yay. Our time together is finished. All right, so I have one field of ruin. <clears throat> Let's say I have a field of ruin for a field of the dead, but they got another field of the dead. They have a backup. Oh, come on. They have three. And so it doesn't really make that much sense to field of ruin here, honestly. Because if I do, then they get zombies. Because now that's six. All right, well, I guess we're just casting Legion's End. Because I forgot about Rejuvenator Double Trigger. This is rough. I mean, I just have to keep it. But that means I don't get to contempt your rock. If I put it in the graveyard, I can flip as Kanta. <clears throat> and I can contempt your rock and Legion's End. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need to flip it. Because, yeah, you're right. Like, like Blast Zone just takes out. Yeah, I just can't if I don't flip it. And they still have a trophy for it, though, too. And uh, we've done a good job exiling all three creatures, or just the two creatures. We've exiled both creatures. There's only two ritual sets in the deck. We need to find our four field of ruins. <clears throat> Get rid of these Field of the Deads. It was pretty unfortunate they had three Field of the Deads so early. They just had them all in hand. They didn't even find them with Rejuvenator or anything. They just had three Field of the Deads in their hand. All right, so we're going to up, upkeep Exile, the top card of our library. We probably won't have this field for too long because of that Blast Zone. I think they should just attack first there. 
Because they attack for some... Like, I'm probably not cast downing. Saving cast down for Cavalier Thorns or Risen Reef. They could have just got that two points of damage in on me. and future are bound keep an open mind it's tough to beat the the triple field of the dead immediately like just having all three of those in their opener that's tough to beat Yeah, most Field of the Dead decks don't play Scape Shift. Like, this, this, our opponent doesn't have any Scape Shifts. Like, when it, we were talking about it, like, yesterday, and somebody on the, the YouTube channel commented that Field of the Dead's going to die because Scape Shift rotates. But there's three popular, three different popular Field of the Dead decks, and only one plays Scape Shift. The other two don't. But one of them is, is a Nexus deck, though. Nexus is going to really hurt that, obviously, the goalless Nexus deck. But this Sultai one just, you know, doesn't really have things that are rotating besides Elvish Rejuvenator. That's kind of about it. Um, not having, like, the memorials and not having Arch of Araska and stuff like that I still have much to learn. will make life more difficult. What else could they have in hand? Did they just like not play a land because they know about this Cry of the Carnarium? Hmm. It's just not even that good of a Cry of the Carnarium. But if I don't, Ugin dies. Unfortunately, with that Narset, we saw a lot of our win cons at the bottom. We know our second Ugin and both of our mass manipulations are at the bottom. Our main win conditions. You could have Growth Spiral. I bet that's, I bet that's what they have is Growth Spiral. They want to play the instant speed land. That makes sense. Maybe I should have just let Ugin die. Ooh, no Growth Spiral. That's good. Could be more Assassin's Trophy. I hope not. I would love to have Ugin out here for a while. Yep. Field of Ruin makes more zombies. Then we can block and get a Field of Ruin back and kill another Field of the Dead, but then there's still a bunch of zombies we have to worry about. Death comes for us all. He shuffled a bunch of spells back from the bottom of the library. Uh, 
Oh no. Ugh. No. Hey, no field of ruin. The possible they're just out of basics? Maybe they just play the three basics? Since they don't actually have another basic for field of ruin? Milled over one with cavalier thorns? Dead land card, that was a bad draw. See, they draw a land card, they get to make two zombies. I needed this land to be one of my draws, and these other lands that I've been drawing put under here. <laughs> That's awesome, good job, Caster. Good job. Glad you're enjoying your mono blue flyer deck. No, it's okay, Starman. So, on we can We can kill a Field of the Dead, but that puts Lethal out there. This is just over, though. I guess I have one Ritual of Soot that I could draw. So yeah, I have one Ritual of Soot I could draw. Hopefully games two and three, hopefully they don't just draw all their Field of the Deads immediately. I don't like I didn't like that blast zone destroying my precognition field. I didn't like that too much. Hmm. So, manipulation's still good against, like, Yurok and Cavalier, but especially Yurok is taking that card from him. Maybe that's not necessary, though. Hmm. 
I'm gonna just not play Narset. Narset's just really, really hard to protect against from like a couple of little 2-2s and everything and only can activate twice. Yeah, I gotta make sure we actually sideboard this time. Hopefully Thought Erasure works. And they played five more minutes than us. Double Veil of Summer. It's a good looking hand there. So yeah, they have three new cards now. Veil of Summer still pretty good. Resolved. Field of the Dead. Out of here. So they have a Yurok in hand. Two Cavalier. Three Cavalier. Four Cavalier. Doesn't seem like any Nexus. Three Agent of Treachery. I think I name. I think I name Agent of Treachery with the next one. Yeah, agent stealing my stuff can be really problematic. I thought my opponent was watching the stream before this for how slow they've been playing and how some of the, the plays they made last game. And that's pretty telling to ego away ego there. But all right, now we got a straight up game. They check, take a look at the deck. All right, two good cards to see. We'll take those two. The agent of treacheries are going to be rough, though. That's for sure.
That is the scariest card they have left is certainly the Agent of Treacheries. I wish I would have been able to take them. Because they're going to take my Ascanta. Okay. Feel the ruins nice because that destroys us, Kanta. Yeah, they drew pretty well. Can also just get rid of Blast Zone, though, to start with. I could upkeep Exile the Swamp. We'll see. Oh man, that's a really good card to have. We know they have three Agent of Treacheries, so that's the second one over there. Oh, come on. GG. Man, what a great draw step. We own more ego. See, they have nothing in hand. They they drew their one unmoored ego, and then name, of course, unmoored ego. Like, like, that was just something they really wanted to name, and so then I don't get to take Agent of Treachery. Because they're definitely expecting the second unmoored ego. It's ridiculous. I don't think that there's any way my opponent names on Mordigo unless they know my hand, <laughs> really. But oh well, Agent of Treachery uh, got us pretty good there. That's what we're kind of doing, though. Anyway, fun deck to play. Precognition Field was really impressive. Um, so, <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's that's just what happens with streaming. So you know, it's it's whatever. You know, it's not like I'm I'm not gonna like change anything about it or anything. Like that just happens with being a streamer. All good though. 
Um, but yeah, they, we were we were pretty unlucky though with that match. Uh, you know, like they had they had uh, some really really good draws there that game two, but then the game one that they did, they just started off with having three field of the deads immediately in their in their hand, and I couldn't quite stabilize then. Um, anyway, uh, pretty pretty cool little deck here though. Precognition field. I have to say I was really impressed with the card. The card just did a whole lot for us, and it really. Uh, I think it really helped out our blue-black control deck, honestly. This was a good card. Just a lot of the time, like, we got to cast extra cards with it. Uh, got to, uh, um, you know, rearrange the top of our library a lot. Uh, you know, exile extra lands or, or shuffle um, when need be. And, and really helped us dig quite a bit. It was a, it was a good card. I like it. All right, so uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button's over there. Also, leave a comment of what uh, cards that you want me to build around for the next Throwback Thursday. You know, what rares and mythics that are we do we have here that are going to be rotating out um, that you want to see played in standard before they go? Cards like Frank Omnipotence, Precognitive or Precognition Field. It's on. Uh, Always mispronounce this, this card's name. Um, and cards like that. We're going to have Vance's Blasting Cannons up next. So make sure you check out that video or also the playlist with all the other Throwback Thursday decks. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.